In this video, we'll be doing differentiation, but not just any differentiation. We'll be using the product rule. The product rule is used when we have a product of algebraic expressions. We're going to do two different questions. First, we will do step by step. I will show you step by step how to use this product rule. And in the second question, we will go with an easy method to apply the product rule. Let's start with the first one. Differentiate each of the following with respect to x. We have one equation here where we have two different algebraic expressions. This is the first one and this is the second one. In this case, we are going to label them separately. So first we say let u be equals to the first one which is 5 minus 2x cubed. This is the first algebraic expression. And then we also say let v be equals to x squared plus 4. This is the second algebraic expression. So you can see this is y is equals to uv. A product of two different algebraic expressions. Let's go step by step. So once we have labeled them as u and v, the first thing to do would be to differentiate each one with respect to x. So first we do du dx. We differentiate u with respect to x. And what we will get here, we have to apply the chain rule. First, take the power, multiply it to the front. So you get 3, 5 minus 2x. And with the power, we have to subtract 1. So you get 2. This is not the end. With the chain rule, don't forget, you have to multiply with differentiation of what is inside the bracket. So 5 minus 2x, when you differentiate this, you will get negative 2. This is differentiation of u with respect to x. Let's do the same for v. So dv dx will simply equal to 2 x. Now that we have u du dx v dv dx, we can apply the product rule. The product rule is actually very simple. The product rule states that dy dx will be equals to u multiplied with dv dx plus v multiplied with du dx. That's all. So once we have all four here, all we have to do is put it back into the formula. Now we will write this is equals to u. So u will be this one, which is 5 minus 2x cubed multiplied by dv dx, which is just 2x times 2x plus v. v will be this one, x squared plus 4. I'm going to put in the bracket because we need to multiply with du dx and this is du dx. So we multiply with, we can simplify this first, du dx because we can multiply the 3 and the negative 2. We'll get negative 6 multiplied by 5 minus 2x squared. So let's just write that here. Negative 6 and 5 minus 2x squared. All right, now it's a matter of simplifying this. We have already applied the product rule here. How do we simplify this? We need to factorize. When you look at these two separately, because this is an addition of two terms, let's look at the common factor. The common factor for both will be 5 minus 2x squared. This is one of the common factors. And when we look at the numbers, you have a common factor of 2 because this is negative 6. So what we are going to factorize is we are going to take out 2 and 5 minus 2x squared. And what will be left, remember factorization is just a matter of division. Let me do this the long way first, just to show you what is happening. What you do is each term, let's take the first term here. I'm just going to transfer this over here. This will be. 5 minus 2x cubed multiplied by 2x divided by whatever we are putting on the outside of the bracket. So we divide by 2, 5 minus 2x 
square. This is what we are doing when we're factorizing. Then plus the other side now. We're just going to do the exact same thing. So let's write this down first. x square plus 4, negative 6, 5 minus 2x square. All we are doing is we are dividing by whatever is outside the bracket. That is 2, 5 minus 2x square. And now we can close the bracket on this side. This will result in, so let's do the division. 2 can divide by 2 and 5 minus 2x squared. So this will just become to the power of 1. Power of 3 divided by power of 2, we get power of 1. On this side, 2 and negative 6, we can get negative 3. And 5 minus 2x squared will become just 1. So we can simplify this to 2, 5 minus 2x squared. And what is left inside the bracket now is simply 5 minus 2x. Let's use a square bracket. 5 minus 2x, and don't forget we have an x here. Multiply by x plus, and on the right side we have negative 3. I'm going to put this number in front, and we still have this. x squared plus 4. This is what is left inside the bracket. Now to further simplify this, all we have to do is simplify what is inside the bracket. This is 2, 5 minus 2x square let's simplify what's inside the bracket so now we have to open the bracket so we multiply in here so you will get 5x minus 2x square and then on this side we do the same thing open the bracket here so we get negative 3x square and minus 12 minus 12 once again we can still perform operation inside the bracket negative 2x square minus 3x square they are like terms so we get 2 5 minus 2x square and then let's write the x square term first because it has the highest power negative 5x square plus 5x minus 12 and this is the final form the factorized form will be the simplest form so we don't need to expand this out or we don't need to multiply the 2 into here. No, this is already the final form. So this is step by step. Feel free to rewind and go through it again. Now let's try a simplified version of this whole process. It is the same thing. So we have y is equals to 7x multiplied by square root of 10 minus 3x. First, we need to write this as this is equals to 7x multiplied by 10 minus 3x square root will be to the power of 1 over 2 and now we are ready to differentiate we can see here this is a product of two expressions as well so this is actually just one single term 7x multiplied by this so therefore this will be u and v but in this method we are not going to use u and v so dy dx is equals to all you need to do is first keep the left side i'm just going to write back 7x multiplied by differentiate the right side let's differentiate the right side we get 1 over 2 remember bring the power multiply the power in the front and then 10 minus 3x what we do with the power is we need to minus 1 so this will become negative 1 over 2 don't forget we still have to multiply when you differentiate what is inside the bracket so this will be negative 3. Again, what we did here is keep left, differentiate right. And then plus, I'm going to do it at the bottom here so you can see it in one go. Plus, now you do the opposite. Keep right and differentiate left. Now we are going to keep this, the right, 10 minus 3x to the power of 1 over 2. And we're going to differentiate left. So when we differentiate 7x, multiply by just 7. The next step is the same. That is the step of factorization. What we're going to factorize from here, the common factor, we can see 7 is a common factor. And we have 10 minus 3x. The question is, do we take positive half or negative half? 
when there is a negative number to the power it is easier to take the negative let me show you how this ends up so we are going to take 7 and 10 minus 3x to the power of negative half we're going to factorize this out and what is left again I'm going to show you the long way so let's simplify this first here we have negative 3 we can multiply with 1 over 2 so we get 7x times negative 3 over 2 times 10 minus 3x to the power of negative 1 over 2 so this whole thing we are going to divide by whatever we are factorizing which is 7 10 minus 3x to the power of negative 1 over 2 if you're comfortable with factorization you don't have to do this I'm just showing you the full method here and then plus we take the second part that is 7 10 minus 3x to the power of 1 over 2 over whatever we are factorizing out this will be 7 10 minus 3x to the power of negative 1 over 2 and now what we get here that simplify this is equals to so 7 and 7 can be divided we get 1 and this will be divided off we get 1 as well 7 and 7 we get 1 here 1 over 2 and negative 1 over 2 so this will just be the powers we apply our law of indices 1 over 2 minus negative 1 over 2 so you will just get 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 which is 1 we can write this as 7 10 minus 3x to the power of negative 1 over 2 what's left inside the bracket is we still have negative 3 over 2 here and we still have x so negative 3 over 2 x plus what's left on the right is this and this so we're going to combine it together it just becomes 10 minus 3 x to the power of 1 let's use a square bracket now all we have to do is further simplify what's inside the bracket that is 7 10 minus 3 x to the power of negative 1 over 2 inside here we have negative 3 over 2 x plus 10 minus 3 x this will become 7 10 minus 3 x to the power of negative 1 over 2 this will simply become 10 minus 9 over 2x when we have a negative power as we do here we don't write it down as a negative power it is better to write it as a positive power in the denominator so you get 7 10 minus 9 over 2x over 10 minus 3x to the power of 1 over 2 here we are simply applying the law of indices again a to the power of negative 1 is equals to 1 over a this is what we are doing for this and this is the final answer thank you for watching if this video was helpful please help me leave a like and do subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this see you guys in the next one